Sunderland man, 40, <laughs> captured seagull. <laughs> I can't do, <laughs> I can't do it. Several of you sent me this story. So I'm taking a break from serious, well, semi-serious political commentary and giving the fans what they want. Let's get started, shall we? Obviously, this was a smash hit with the cultured, nuanced, intellectual people that follow my channel uh, because I was sent it by multiple people on multiple networks. ITV covered it as well, apparently. I will say before I start, I always assumed bestiality was perfectly legal in Sunderland. And if they're going to start prosecuting people for it now, well, the best hire a few thousand more coppers because around there, they're going to have the work cut out for them. Sunderland man, 40, captured Seagull and pulled himself off <laughs> as he watched porn in Bizarre Offence. Yes, that is a bizarre offence. I also like the use of the word captured. Is it capturing an animal as stupid as a seagull? When you go fishing, do you capture the fish? Or if you go to a farm shop, do you capture some eggs? Where, where's the line in the sand which determines when a creature is sentient enough to be, ca to be classed as being captured? There's a picture of the gentleman who just reeks of Sunderland as soon as you look at him. Baseball cap. Hood pulled over it, obviously smoking something. I'm still of the opinion there is nothing more tragic than seeing an English man in a baseball cap. Um, I, I think I only do it when I'm out in blistering heat and I feel like there's some utility to it. British people should definitely not make the baseball cap ubiquitous. To me, it's a very American thing. I think you should wear a trilby or a deer stalker. <laughs> David Lee from Sunderland captured the goal and was caught on CCTV watching porn on his phone as he held the bird at about 1am on August 17th last year, Lee had the animal between his legs and masturbated, South Tyneside Magistrates Court was told. He then pulled up his pants and gave it a little kick after the incident in Gladstone Street, Sunderland. Kicking it while it was doon. There's no need for that, is there? It's already had a terrible Friday night. That is just adding insult to injury. <laughs> Jizz on me if you must, but please, don't lay the boot in. Lee was arrested at a nearby takeaway, the hearing was told, as gulls were heard calling out beyond the walls of the court. <laughs> That's fantastic, isn't it? Like the seagull, the seagull community was outraged and gathered around the court to bear for his blood. <laughs> Who wrote this? When he was arrested, he told police he thought the bird was hurt, so he picked it up and looked through his phone to find out what to do. And as he was looking for some medical documents, you know, avian CPR or passerine heart massage, he, uh, he just come across some pornography and thought, might as well fling myself around the park. He claimed he'd been looking for a vet's number, but a check found he had actually been looking at porn. Lee was accused of putting his penis in the animal's beak initially, but that was later modified to say he took a wild bird and undertook a sexual act, thereby unnecessary suffering was caused. Come on, he might have captured a seagull in the middle of the night and started flogging the log whilst gripping it between his bony knees. But he's not completely mental, is he? Why would you put your chopper in a bird's beak? Lee has a history of mental health. Yeah, yeah, you didn't need to tell us that bit, did you? I gather that, fella. The psychiatric report was requested ahead of his sentencing on May 23rd. The chairman of the bench said the word bizarre was used on more than one occasion. <laughs> oh, I bet it was. I bet it was. Prosecutors will ask for an order that will ban Lee from owning animals. That seems unnecessarily harsh. What about banning from owning birds, right? Surely be safe with a goldfish. What are you going to do to a goldfish? It's not doing any harm if you just sort of rub your ball sack up against the fish tank, is it? <laughs> Shocking, really. Anyway, don't know why you sent me that, you lunatics. But in this crazy, crazy world of ours, I thought it was time for a bit of levity. I'll be doing a stream with Rags and Jack on Sunday, so I'll hopefully see some of you there. Thanks for watching. Toodle pip. Cheers.